chondrules in a chondrite do not all have the same size, but have various sizes. And this is what is shown here in this plot for one metroid as an example, which is triplet Winsel one a CM chondrite. So on the x-axis is the diameter of the chondrules, and on the y-axis the number of chondrules with a certain diameter. And then there is the chondrule size distribution, and in this case this is quite a nice distribution, an about log normal distribution, and it is a unimodal um, distribution, which means it only has one peak and not a couple of peaks. And uh, so in some cases there might be some chondrules with larger sizes, but this would be only very small peak, not a real bimodal peak or something like this. Further, this distribution of course has a mean or average value, and in this case for the CMs it is 150 micron. CMs have quite small chondrules. And as I said, this is quite a typical distribution, log normal unimodal, log normal to normal for chondrites, and this is what is can be seen in this um, other chondral size plot here as well. So in this case, on the x-axis there's the diameter in millimeter, not micrometer, so these chondrules are um, certainly larger, and these are all ordinary chondrites, H4, LL3, LL4, and L, LL4, and again, these are all unimodal distributions, so they have just one peak, and the distribution type is about normal to maybe something like log normal. Now there are various explanations for how these um, chondral size variations or distributions have been established. One is that there might have been some size sorting in vortices in the planetary disk or something like this, but for this to happen, chondrules already need to have had var um, different sizes. So this would only put a problem somewhere else, because still we need chondrules of different sizes. Another possibility would be that the current precursor aggregates had various sizes, so the agglomeration of the precursors were more or less efficient, so larger and bigger precursor aggregates, or that during chondral formation the evaporation produced, or uh, the evaporation of material produced smaller chondrules, and maybe chondrules that were at larger temperatures for prolonged times evaporated more and got smaller, something like this. Um, also, maybe the origin of chondrules might be important here, so that because this is a normal distribution at a unimodal distribution and not a multimodal distribution. It looks more like these corners were all formed in one place and not from different places with various sizes. Then we would rather expect some multimodal than maybe a unimodal. So this is all what we can learn from chondral size distributions, which are always different in the various chondrites.